Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's a look at the packaging. Alright, so the Guardians of the Galaxy line of figures came out last summer, 2014. Over time, the price on many of the figures has dropped considerably on Amazon, and I have completed my set. So for the next several reviews, we are going to be looking at Guardians of the Galaxy figures. And uh, to kick things off, here is Star-Lord. All in all, the sculpt on this guy is very nice. He closely resembles the character's appearance in the film, and uh, there are many bits and pieces that come with this figure and help to create different moments from the film. Paintwork here is really nice and I think it does a really good job of creating that diverse look from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy film in which you know you have some elements which are really nice and sleek and shiny then you have other things that are a lot more gritty and grimy. Um, you know Star-Lord is a pretty neat mix and the figure itself looks like he very much fits within that world. Give you a close-up of the head. Um, Star-Lord actually comes with two heads. Firstly, he has his masked head, um, as you know, we see him in the film at a few different points. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool, very cybernetic looking. Uh, you know, he has the glowing red eyes, so they don't actually glow, obviously. A uh, little breathing apparatus right there. And, uh, you know, looks quite good. And, uh, you know, because he's wearing the mask, his hair looks to kind of be pushed upward. Um, the uh, outfit on the figure is quite nice. His jacket has like a wash over it just to kind of make it look, you know, dirtier and, you know, a little bit grimed up. Um, you know, looks quite good. Uh, the rest of the outfit is pretty plain. He's got a gray t-shirt and uh, some blue pants. And then, uh, you know, the boots are detailed quite nicely, as you can see there. Backside of the cloak looks really nice as well. Starlord also comes with this backpack right here, which is removable. It has a little latch right in here, and you can pop it off, and then I uh, proceed to remove it from the figure by popping off his head and uh, just pulling it off like so. There's a little bit of space in there. Uh, I imagine if you wanted to, you could put some of his accessories in there and then put it back on the figure, and it might stay on okay without them falling out, but there's not really a dedicated pouch for anything in there. It's just a little bit hollowed out. Um, and, uh, you know, for that reason, I presume you could put things in there if you wanted to try doing so. The second head that we get is the Chris Pratt head, and uh, the likeness on it is pretty good. The eyes are a little bit off on my figure, but, uh, you know, the skin color is good, the hair looks good, the facial hair looks nice. Um, you know, it's a really nice head, and I think it does a pretty good job of capturing his appearance in the movie. And, uh, you know, we'll simply replace his head onto his body, and there you go. In the way of articulation, Star-Lord has a ball joint at the head. He has a bend at the neck. He has hinges at the elbows, rotations at the biceps, double bends at the elbows, hinges at the wrists. He has an ab crunch at the torso, swivel at the waist, hinges at the hips, Rotations at the thighs, double bends at the knees, and then hinges at the ankles, and then rockers on them as well. So while Star-Lord is very nicely articulated, I do find that his arms are very gummy-like. They're very soft and, you know, pliable, and that's not good because I kind of feel like this can break. I mean, just look at how it's twisting, you know, there in the hinge. You know, not quite good. You know, I'd be I'd be pretty afraid if you handled this the wrong way. You know, you could snap something. So, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, going forward, Hasbro tries to not do this because this just has me kind of worried that you know this is not very structurally sound and something might happen. Um, also, the the joints are pretty loose on it. I don't know if it's just my figure. Or, you know, this is how they are. But uh, particularly the hips, the swivel there is just really really fluid. And, uh, you know, the legs, too, kind of move out quite easily. So as I mentioned, Star-Lord comes with a very nice amount of accessories. Uh, firstly, he has his pistols that you saw at the intro to the video. 
He's got uh, two of them there. And uh, they're pretty nicely done. There's, they're kind of like a gunmetal gray color, and there's a little bit of gold on them. Uh, they look quite nice, and he holds them pretty well. He has the little orb thingy that he was running around with at the beginning of the movie. And uh, kind of almost looks like a little moon <laughs> or something. Um, you know, just a little thing there. It's kind of easy to get lost. But I have found that for storage, you can actually take, you know, one of the heads that it came with and, uh, you know, it sits in there pretty good. You know, it doesn't come out. Now, he doesn't really hold this thing quite well. I mean, you can kind of, like, you know, just have him like that, but he doesn't really grip onto it, you know, in either hand. So, uh, you know, it's just, I guess, a little thing to have on the shelf next to him if you wanted to do so. He also comes with his headphones that he had in the film. And, uh, you know, they look kind of cool on him. He simply do this number here. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. It's not a perfect fit by any means, but, uh, you know, it does work. And then finally, he has his cassette Walkman. And you can pose him dancing around and clowning off if you like to. For the pack-in, for the build -a figure aspect, you get Groot's left arm. Pretty long arm. Um, quite nicely detailed, I might add. And pretty nicely articulated. It's got the hinge here at the shoulder. It's got the uh, swivel there at the bicep. It has double bends at the elbow. And then it has a hinge here at the wrist. So once we review the other five figures that are required to build Groot, we will subsequently review the Groot figure as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord six-inch figure. All in all, it's a pretty nicely done figure. I think the sculpt is very nicely accomplished. The paint on it is very nice as well. Uh, the articulation, while also very nice, you know, adversely affects the elbow joints given how gummy the arms seem to be. Um, you know, that's partly because of the plastic used for the arms, but it's also because of the way that they did the double bends there at the elbows. And it makes me a little nervous that they might break a little bit more easily than expected. Also, the articulation at the lower part of the body seems a little bit too fluid and, uh, you know, kind of moves around a little too easily. But, I mean, other than that, it's a really good figure. The accessories he comes with are all very nice. The Groot part that comes with him, you know, also nice and helps us work toward building Groot. So, you know, that's a fun aspect, too. If you're collecting the figures from the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, then you might like getting Star-Lord. Or if you just love Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, then you're probably going to want it as well. But uh, if you're picking and choosing, and you're more after, like, the more prominent figures, like Iron Man or Captain America and so forth, then I don't think Star-Lord is, like, an absolute must. But, uh, you know, I truly enjoy half them since I did enjoy the film. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.